All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to Voidigo, the bloopiest sort of gungeon. Eh, let's do Drash, Begunner. I don't really have much of a choice. Color. There's pink. Oh, but there's that. Let's go with this. Okay. Intense, balanced, moderate, and calm. I really like these difficulty names. Was I at balance last time or intense? I was probably on intense. Let's try balance. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to keep futzing with the difficulties uh, until I get good at this game, and then eventually I'll start scaling it up. The problem is, like, I am a, uh, I'm a legendary lazy man when it comes to difficulty. I like challenging games, but I like games that challenge me intellectually as opposed to, like, skills and reflexes. Skills and reflexes, I, like, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I gotta remember how to play. Now, are you something I can actually shoot and kill? Yes, but it's the boss, I'm pretty sure. Okay, hello. Ammo, I'll take it. Oop. God, I love being able to jump on enemies. That's like the coolest thing ever. I... It's going to hurt me more than it's gonna help, I think, because I'm gonna try and Goomba, Goomba stomp enemies in a chain. And that's actually a really bad idea. So what I should probably do is Goomba Stomp on single target enemies and then, you know, actually try with, uh, with the bigger, harder ones. Anywho, uh, let's see, what was I going to say? Right, difficulty, challenging, whatnot. I like being, I, I guess, more like intellectually challenged as, as part of difficulty as opposed to, uh, you know, a game just being like, alright, now it's going to be the ultimate reflex test. And it's like, I can do it. I can enjoy it, but ultimately I end up kind of falling short eventually, and I don't really want to push through for that last, like, 20% of challenge to really make it work. So, like, uh, eh, well, let's use Gungeon as the easy example, uh, or Atomicrops or something like that. Like, I got to year 10 on Atomicrops. I just absolutely did not want to go past, uh, well, I didn't actually want to complete year 10, because what was the point? I am going to die. Never mind, that helps a lot. Uh, the amount of health pickups that they give in this one is real nice. There's another roguelike that I'm really looking forward to called Revita, that really does require you to take, like, no damage. Question. I can't stomp at these guys. I'm not actually how uh, sure how... Necessary? I don't know if necessary is the right word. Ow! I... Well, I goofed that one up. Oop. It's really cute just watching them plop over. I... I don't know. Uh, whoever came up with the idea of Goomba stomping on enemies for... I mean, just in general, but especially for this game. Stroke of genius. Okay. So I am... I'm so far so good. Let's go in here. Let's actually get some new weapons. The beginner is kind of boring for obvious reasons. Get out of here, clam! I'm not here to jam. Okay, and then we got a pat pat. <laughs> okay. I. It even makes pat pat noises. I dig it. Get out of here, clam! one likes you anyway. Oh, right. I have to kill everybody before. Oops. Not get clobber knotted. There we go. I was kind of curious on whether or not Goomba stomping those guys would actually... Ooh. So... We haven't tried helping hand yet, so let's give that a shot. Faster reload. You know what? That's actually really helpful. Let's stay away from the clams. I don't actually know if the clams are dangerous. I know they do like a flop AoE, but otherwise they're kind of just there. Man, whoever came up with the... Oh, of course. They do actually use their tongue to move around. Whoever came up with the idea of kind of parroting uh, clam tongues. Oh, that actually cost me money. I will keep that in mind. I can't actually go here. Oh, I am locked in. That just—I—I I guess I just never noticed going up here. All right. 
Yeah, what's a good game, good example of a game that I like being challenged in? I guess tower defense games are the easy go-to. Oh! You are not the boss that I was expecting. Well, that's actually really nice. Oh. I'm locked in again. Damn it. I mean, I guess I could shoot him. But I figure I might as well just put that off. Okay. I guess I gotta get past Lippy Flop. Bye. I don't think Pap Pap is going to be the weapon for me. I'll use it for now because I don't have a choice. The Steed. Okay. This seems kind of fun. Way faster attacking than the melee weapon we had last time. It was worth a shot. It'd be kind of cool if hopping on enemies made it more likely for them to drop, like, ammo or something. And shooting them made them more likely to drop cash? Eh, no, I can see- I can see that actually being grounds for abuse in some way, shape, or form. I will forever be focused on balance. Uh, the, one of my least favorite things in games is... Okay, I could recycle my weapon. Let's get rid of the pap pap. I just don't like it. Alright. I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, let's see. Just stay away from the boss. We'll grab the beginner. I don't think I can actually recycle two guns at once. Maybe I can. I'm gonna swing past, but then again, recycling just gives me ammunition. So I'm not actually convinced that that's particularly useful. Okay, stay away. Loop some ants. Go from there. I Maybe this is just me. I, I'm obsessed with fairness when it comes to games, but it's like, uh, that's a good example. I, I was never a big fan of how, uh, Gungeon handled maximum health upgrades. Uh, just that, like, hey, if you perfect a boss, you, uh, man, melee attacking with my gun is not worth it. At least not the beginner. Uh, let's see. Well, at least we get plenty of HP ups. We might want to actually stick some max health. I take enough stray shots in this one that having, like, four or five health probably will save my butt. Oh, but yeah, so for Gungeon, it was one of those where it's like, the max health r reward was, it was a bonus for, you know, the absolute best players, but, like, Gungeon required some serious chops to be able to actually go far in, so, like, eventually, yeah, I did manage to defeat the dragon a couple of times, uh, but the idea of going further and fighting the, uh, the Lich, or... I'm trying to think of some of the other bonus bosses. I guess all of their, like, individual side secret story whatever things. Like, that very much was for other people. Ooh, Breacher. Nothing like a good shotgun. Seriously, nothing like a good shotgun. So ammo efficient. You just you stun them, you get up close, and ammo. Okay, pyrosol, coffee, or particle acceler or projectile accelerator. Let's try the pyrosols. I'm assuming that just gives me oh fire stomp. That's actually really good. I like. Aha. Those climbs are durable. Okay, so we don't care about that. All right, I forgot. I can sprint. You'd be so well. I don't know. I'm sure a number of people are going to be like, "Of course you can sprint," but it's like, I don't think any of these other roguelikes, like any other roguelikes in this this specific classification, uh, I don't I don't think they have sprinting. 
Like, it's very much just this one. Heck, Nuclear Throne didn't even have dodge rolling, except for Fish. And admittedly, all the other character powers more than made up for it, but, uh, it was... It, it's just interesting seeing this... this genre evolve. And, unfortunately, I feel like it's one of those that... the... the kings of the genre... Oh, that fire spreads, like, really far, too. I, the kings of the genre, I think, were determined maybe a little early. Hello, arachnid haste. Faster movement speed. I'll take it. Oh, gosh, I regret it. This guy is glimmering like there's loot in him. No. Oh, this is exactly what I needed. Normally, I'm not big on movement speed in games, and I'm super not big on this, necessarily. However, I it does make running and stomping really easy. So, Scrappy and Jumbo Dart. Scrappy. Oh. What's Jumbo Dart? I'm gonna grab the Breacher. Okay. Let's just poke the boss. Give him some fire. Okay, let's grab a little bit of ammo. Kind of my personal preference to just hop on this guy and preserve my ammo a little bit. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Unfortunately, we're running out of juice here. So let's, uh, let's get rid of the jumbo dart. I like the extra range, but... We need other stuff. I'll grab the HP, not that we need it too bad. Uh, so the one thing I will say is there's ammo over here that we should probably go grab. Because my Breacher is almost out of juice. And I want to save my money instead of spending things on the store. Anyway, about uh, the genres peaking, I think, a little bit early. It's, I, it's kind of the same thing with Binding of Isaac and Slay the Spire and a bunch of other you know, really good roguelikes leading the way is that they inevitably spawn better roguelikes later on. But there is a there's a couple year period where it's just filled with nothing but hopefuls wanting to take the crown next. Uh, it's wow killer syndrome where people are inspired by something that already exists, an idea or a, a thing or a product. But an idea, a thing, or a product, I'm so glad. There we go. I guess I'm going to hop on that. Not that I really need it. But inspired by an idea, a thing, or a product, and they want to make something similar because they're fans of that original idea. Ah, screwed that up. Jumped too early game is not that fast paced. I bet on higher difficulties it might be. Whoa, I forgot. Lippy lob. Lippy lob. Whoops. And he's gone. Well, we spent some money to get in here. Ten. Nah, I'll make it work. I've got the guns to pay the bills. We'll see how it goes. I just gotta be careful. And worst comes worse, I run out of ammo and I just start setting shit on fire. I I am actually in love with this boss design. I it seems like there might be like 
a really good high risk play with this game which is effectively chain goomba stomping on a boss and just absolutely demolishing them as part of it I'm actually staying on top of things ammo wise I'm impressed okay uh, let's see but it's part of the reason why we've only seen a couple of, say, Nuclear Throne likes that are actually good. A couple of Slay the Spire clones that are actually good. Actually, no, there's a lot of decent deck builders. The problem is it's just very hard to escape the, the shadow of Slay the Spire. Uh, I think Monster Train, Vault of the Void, and Arcanium do pretty dang well. Gross. That was really cool. The bosses in this game are insane. Like... I like the simplicity of the ones in Gungeon, but these bosses are actually interesting to fight. But you know, within this specific genre, the kind of twin stick is shooter. Uh, let's see, Emerald and Shielding, Frog Bullet Lotion, or Electricity Button. I want to try the Frog Bullet Lotion. Frog Bullets! It's not actually made from frogs. No frogs were harmed in the making of this lotion. It's just a marketing thing, we promise. It's not frogs. Okay, WebTech Clip Expansion. And then a bunch of ammo. Sack max health for a power-up. Sack that exchange weapon for a power up yeah i'll get rid of that i love this the the exchange system glacial soul ice stomp so i got both fire and ice now do i want to sack some reload speed for max health that's tough otherwise i can sack reload speed for that you know what i'm gonna do that Mainly because I'm here to see everything as much as I can. Faster sprint speed. Okay, that's interesting. There's more, but I don't want to put myself in huge risk. I'd actually like to win some of these runs. And I'm going to see more if I can actually just keep going. But yeah, reload speed, it's okay. Oh, that's nice. Holy shit, there's some serious quality of life in this game. Uh, namely the fact that... Uh, namely the fact that the the bit of ammo that I didn't pick up, uh, that actually is still sitting there, like, on that screen. Okay, I guess there's nothing fancy uh, about these green jars. I'm pretty sure Emerald on... Ow. Wow! Is kind of a retaliatory thing that enemies will... This is, uh... I mean... Well, I guess we do get to figure out what this is. Increased accuracy. Alright, let's grab some health. Ripes. Okay. Gotta get rid of them. Yeah, that's that's probably what the Emerald on Curse Shielding is, is for. Wow. <laughs> this place does get a little bit uh, stinkier the longer you uh the longer you're here. Well, the second level is a lot stinkier than the first. Whoops. There's still a dude here. Okay, and we get the Imperiant Baby, which I actually do really like. We don't have the Bouncy Bullets. I could have picked them up earlier, but I, I'm i trying to try everything first. I, It's what I do whenever I play like a new game. And instead of going for the optimum play, I play stupid for a while, purely just to learn. It's not even stupid, it's, it's just not peak.
Okay. Are you? Yeah, you're an actual enemy. Okay. Interesting. I think I could use the Imperiant baby to do like a, a boosted jump. I'm not sure what these exploding things are. They're kind of spooky, but that's okay. I always get a lot of flack for making bad decisions on my first, like, X number of episodes. It's like, of course I'm going to make bad decisions. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, boss. Oh, it's you again. We never actually did get to kill this dude. Alright, and let's leave. Oh, I can't leave. Where'd you put the crystals? Don't tell me I actually have to hit you. I don't want to do that. Oh, there it is. I... The boss design in this game is just nothing but insanely cool. It absolutely has... Ow. It absolutely has that, like, uh... Atomicrops, just, like, really weird, bloopy... Uh... Nidhogg art style. I... Eh, this is a little bit more cartoon -y. Well... Hmm. A little less gruesome looking? Maybe that would be the way I'd describe it. Oh. I should really learn to stomp more of these guys. There's an outhouse. And explosives. Take a quick peek around. The frogs are interesting. I don't know how to feel about them. Okay. So let's check out the Porco Shed. Sacrifice health to loot vortex. So we get a bone rattler and a shotgun. Well. Like I said, I'm not making optimum decisions. I'm here to try everything. Let's go get some health back though. I'm a little wounded. Uh, let's go straight back through the center. I love this navigation. It feels so nice. It's it's very much a no fluff. Just here is access to pretty much everything. Okay. Already dying a bit. Shotgun is interesting. Mixed feelings on the actual execution. Bone Rattler is boring. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it's good. Thank you. Like, I, I am, I am 90, 99 to 100% certain that the shotgun is actually just straight up the worst. The worst weapon? Porco Mud Hut. Oh, these guys are Porcos. I'm gonna grab some HP. Yeah. I think I'll recycle the shotgun and go find my Breacher back. There's just something pure and simple about the Breacher that the shot, the shotgun is neat and maybe it's really good against the boss. But on my own end, eh. Okay, is there a no loot vortex in here? There should be. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Maybe if I had the, uh, the bouncy bullets. The shotgun would, wouldn't be half bad. But as it stands, I don't know. Grab that. Loot Vortex gives me a uh, colloid chunker. 
I feel like I need to learn this word, but I'm also not sh sure if I want to. Shot flipper, red pepper, another pyrosol. Let's do shot flipper. What does this do? Stompable bullet flipping buttons appear. Oh. Alright, that's interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure the recycler was here, yeah? Cool. So let's swap the bone rattler out for the shotgun. Recycle the shotgun. Now, there's also the weed whacker. I haven't really messed with melee, and to some degree, I'm just not sure if I want to. Well, I'll do it for now. Uh, let's... Okay, this fire is ice. Let's just, uh... Let's give it a shot. Okay, so boss is already here, which is ultimately kind of bad for me. Ow. Now, does that... I'm not actually sure if that hurts enemies. But it certainly ain't good for them. Okay. Whoop. Let's not be there. How much HP? I'm sitting on. I'm sitting fine. Okay, boss is still here. Boop. Okay. This weapon is bad. I mean, maybe it's actually quite good. I don't like long wind-up times on my melee weapons. It never feels good. Okay. Uh, let's see. HP is looking okay. I'm going to leave it for the for now. Let's go find my... Uh, probably my Breacher. I actually like the col Colloid... Colloid? Chunker? Just in terms of... Uh, freezing ability. But I think I want to roll Bone Rattler just so I have like a good DPS mainstay against bosses. Next up, I have to remember where my gun is. I'm 99% certain it's actually in here with the boss, so let's go find him. I kind of wish you could keep recycling guns just for cash. But then again, I don't really need cash for much. There he is. Got the weed whacker, bone rattler, everything is... Everything is nice and dandy. Whoops. Is that me? That might have been me. Where's the boss? Hello? Ah, there you are. Now I just need need the boss to actually just well not destroy everything but destroy the environment so I can actually do some things here. You got frogged. I'm really digging the frog bullets. Yeah, these patterns make sense. There's some really good tells too. Oh. I have no idea if I need to be afraid of those bluebirds. Probably not. Alright. The one thing I do need to be afraid of is my dwindling ammo count. Let's swing back through center and grab some ammo. Because the Bone Rattler is great. Summons a hell of a lot of frogs, which is everything that I need and more. Problem is, it's not the best. It runs out. Oh, is there a door I haven't been in? Oh, right, of course there's a door I haven't been into yet. Let's go check those out. Okay. I should probably actually use the Breacher for this one. Oh, those bullet reversing buttons are actually something real special. Okay. So we got martial arts manual, charge pepper, or cloudy arm. Longer arm. Um. <laughs> this is not the most helpful thing in the world. Now, do I actually get rid of one of these? Oh, that's a toughie.
All right. I'll take that. So it's a different cold gun. Hey, the boss came to say hi. That's convenient. That's so cool! I... This longer arm thing might make melee a lot more viable. Actually, you know what else it makes really viable? Shotguns! Because I can get my Breacher way up close and personal. Alright, I didn't actually pay attention to what the boss looked like when it spawned, which is a bit of a shame. Absolutely should have. Well, it's okay. So, I think we still have a... Yeah, we have the... Uh, okay. We got the Coleoid Piercer and Chunker. There's no cool... <sighs> See, that's a bit of a wasted opportunity there, and I totally understand why the devs probably don't have that sort of thing. Uh, let's actually grab this. Chances are I'm not going to be back. Um, I feel like if you find both the Chunker and the Piercer... Oh, gosh. Boss is most definitely spooked town now. Uh, let's see. But I, f I feel like if you find both the Piercer and the Chunker... They should almost, like, merge together into a singular... Uh, like, into a singular gun. Uh, the Ultra Coleoid or something? Coleoid? I don't know. I... Not... Words are not easy when you were this freezy. Excuse me, sir. I wish to jump on you. Thank you. Here to jump on boss. Really jump on you now, can I? Man, they don't they really don't want me to jump on this dude. I guess it's probably for the best. Where are you going? He's piecing the heck out. What the okay. He's going back over here. Well, I thought I thought we wouldn't be back to this room, but I was quite wrong. I... I don't know. This is really cool. Like, I've s I said this previously. In, like, in the previous episode, that this is actually, like, a really good roguelike. Ow. But... The more I fight this boss the more I realize how well-designed they are. Like, just in general. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, let's get some for that. Though I might honestly get rid of this gun. We will see. Anything else? No. If asked me to give up my Breacher, will I do it? Oh, that's a tougher That's a tougher one. Yeah, probably. But the bosses in this remind me of Binding of Isaac. Ooh. Exploit, Eblon Curse, Emerald Dawn, Anti Curse, or Explute. Let's probably stay. Okay, good. Arctic Pepper. Melee weapons freeze enemies. I'm probably going to get rid of that. While the reversal buttons are nice, they're kind of few and far between. Now let's feed the void. I'll have to decide between these. I don't have enough. I guess let's do the anti-curse just to see what it does. Lasers when dodging. Oh. That's completely different from what I was expecting. And that looks like another button. I don't have enough money. 
I guess I might not have been the most thorough, but hopefully the void stays filled for the for after the next boss. Speaking of, holy shit, this looks different. Okay. I I have concerns. Skull Whisperer. Are we like at the end? This feels very like endy. Sacrifice health to loot vortex. Absolutely. I think we found the boss. I wanna... Is the boss just every boss all at once? Okay. Can't leave. So, Void, void Puppeteer. I guess it makes a lot of sense. He just summons multiple versions of pre-existing bosses. Okay. Ah, I don't know how to leave. Oh, here's the crystal. Here's how to leave. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Got it. Yeah, so he just summons a bunch of gooners. And we've got some loot strewn around to keep us going, but I think this might be a full stage boss fight. Grab the anti-void breacher. Anti-void whatever the heck that is. Yeah, let's clear the let's clear the level first just because I need some HP. I can definitely hit him here. One thing I'm noticing is it takes him a little bit to summon his dudes. Oh! That's pretty choice. Grab some ammo for this. And just get around. Okay, and let's bail. Because we've got one more to the left. Gotta pop this open. Luckily, the boss takes a little bit to spawn. Yeah, we've got one more area to the left, and then I think we'll go up. I don't see any loot here, so let's just go here. Because I saw some ammunition, and we've got a couple of guns sitting around for me to utilize. Alright. Nope, can't hit it yet. Okay. You need to die. This music is good! This music is good, and this weapon is amazing. This is so very, honestly, kind of Mega Man. Man, bouncy bullets would have made this really good. Now, does he have a second phase? Maybe he doesn't if he's got a kill animation like that. I live for the hunt. Oh, so there's a meta progression currency of a sort. Impressive! Balance. 50 out of 80 health. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the camp. So we got some kind of resource, whatever that is useful for. Oh, I'm not seeing anything I can spend it on. Alright. It looks like there's got to be something I can spend it on at some point, just not currently. Well, one way or another, that was an absolutely fantastic run and a ton of fun. I think I could probably up the difficulty by one and still be comfortable. Uh, so I might, I might bounce back and forth between balanced and intense. Oh, maybe this is where the meta 
progression currency is used for. We go back. So we only have Drash. Oh. Wait, can I just straight up start with these? Huh. I didn't even realize. Alright, well, I have no idea what to spend this on. So, for now at least, we'll just wait. I, this is really fun. I can't wait to play more. Uh, so, I guess I... As a as a bit of a, a new thing that I'm going to try and do is actually do outros for videos. So, I guess seeing as we're at a very natural ending point for one. If you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Voidigo, hit subscribe because I'm going to play a bunch of this. I'm not usually big on early access games just because they tend to feel a bit flat. But this feels amazing. The bosses honestly remind me of glowed up version uh, versions of Binding of Isaac bosses where they really have interesting patterns, varied move sets, second phases which admittedly I don't think in many Isaac bosses do. Any Isaac bosses do? I uh, but like normally when I play these games, bosses and just fighting regular enemies, it almost feels like completely different games and completely different styles. And you have to kind of manage both. This feels like a perfect fusion between these these two. There's a lot of thought and a lot of intention in how the bosses work. And it actually makes them fun to fight. And because their patterns are so clear and easy to understand and easy to read, it actually makes them quite easy at the same time. But it doesn't feel like it's a cakewalk. It feels like I have mastered this and therefore I am beating this in a justified manner. I suppose most games where I'm just like, yeah, yeah I beat the boss. Hooray, give me the loot. Anywho, so with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.